What's up everybody, it's Aaron Duncan here with the Necessary Bluntness Sports Talk back again with another video and I do Panthers content on this channel so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up because today we're talking about Shaq Thompson. He just signed a big boy contract last week a couple days before the Falcons game and a lot of people are pretty, there's some controversy around because some fans think we might have overpaid for him. I don't think the question was if we were going to bring him back or not. I think it was more of how much and for him to get top five inside linebacker money Says a lot about what the Panthers feel about him, man. I'm here to say that I think he pretty much can has a chance to earn this check because this is only his first year as a full-time starter because we know he had been splitting time and kind of playing behind Thomas Davis for those past few years. And then the Panthers finally let Thomas Davis go. You know what I'm saying? And Thomas Davis still has some juice left in the tank, as you can see, because he's one of the highest tacklers in the league. But... With Shaq being in the fifth year of his rookie deal, the Panthers needed to really find out what they had in him, and he's pretty much been productive with over 103 tackles so far through the season, still with a few games left to go, and um, he's just some highs and lows. He's not perfect. We know he has some rough games, but I'm here to talk about some of this good stuff that I've seen for him and why I think he has the potential and shown flashes to be a pretty good inside linebacker or outside linebacker if we go back to the 4-3. But hey, real quick, down below in the comments, tell me what you think about the Panthers shining Shaq Thompson. Like I said, it wasn't really a question of if he was going to get re-signed. It was more of how much would it be. But let me know if you thought it was a good deal, bad deal. Um, do you think we overpaid? Do you think it was good? Let me know down below in the comments. But um, just some things about Shaq because we know his strengths and weaknesses. He was a hybrid safety uh, running back in college or whatever. Shoot, he even had a chance to play semi-pro baseball. So he's a very good all-around athlete. And he's kind of grown into a linebacker more now that Thomas Davis is gone. And him and Luke Keith have been a pretty good combination um, thus far, even though our defense has pretty much struggled this year, but they've been very productive and they're starting to play a little bit better together as time goes on. Shaq's strengths are really his speed and his ability to hit once he gets to the ball. He's very good at running sideline to sideline when teams try to run outside zones, and sometimes he struggles when he has to be closer to the line of scrimmage and linemen can get their hands on him and they run inside. So we're going to look at some film today, guys. This is a new thing for me, so make sure you guys stay to the end and tell me what you think about some of my film breakdowns and if you want to see more videos like this for me because this is a little bit different than I normally do, so I'm trying to change it up, man. So let me know at the end of the video after you see all the clips, man. So let's go to the tape. So let's go back to week one versus the Los Angeles Rams, one of the most exotic offenses in the league. This is the beginning of the year. Shaq's first start without Thomas Davis here. And on this play, they're going to run the zone his way. And like I said, when Shaq is able to just get have room, recognize the run, and get to the football, he's fast. He can be strong and physical. And sometimes he can refuse to be blocked. And he can be really a menace when it comes to this. He's good at shooting gaps, and he's good at get back there fast. Because like I said, he used to play running back, so he can read a lot of these plays quickly before they even develop and as they develop so watch as they go in motion he's going to shift even to the middle but still look how he recognizes it and takes off and then once he sees this coming his way this center is going to try to get to him but Shaq just refuses to be blocked takes on the block pushes him away gets the girl who brings it physical and slams him down to the finish it to send a message to let them know that the Panthers not playing this year so let's look at it one more time man because Shaq really really showed me something here so like I said watch that motion over Shaq's going to come boom take it off boom now bring it to him slam him for emphasis you know what i'm saying just to make sure everybody knows that i'm shaq thompson and this is my year i'm trying to get a contract so to me the houston game is probably the best game that shaq played you know what i'm saying like i don't know what got into him this is early in the season he was really being confident in his play he was being strong physical and refused to get blocked a lot of times this is going to be a running play and they're going to come right here towards play side here's shaq right here there's going to be a guard that's going to try to come at him but watch how his technique is what you what they try to tell you to do to get off of blocks is instead of going chest to chest you attack half the man and leave one arm free if you do that you're still able to get rid of the block and make a play on the running back so watch out Shaq attacks half the man like I say half the man boom Shaq uses his shoulder you can hardly tell I'll show you a different angle but you can see he throws his shoulder you can see his hand right here is still free you can see the running back is right there in his vision and watch how Shaq makes the play on that until the Calvary gets there of course Luke Keegan is going to be right behind you to make that play so you just got to do what you got to do you know what I'm saying here's Shaq right here again like I said watch how he uses his right shoulder to attack the guard he sees the play coming be, he's the, once he has a chance to get out the ball and run to the football he is very great at doing this he's actually physical more physical at this than he is when he's just lining up in front of guys and taking on different blocks so he can see the play developing he sees that guard coming he sees the running back coming he goes and watch this shoulder boom look 
That's how he refused to get blocked. You put half, you put your shoulder, attack half the man. He even shrugged his shoulder up and ripped up to not get blocked. And the running back's right there. He gets his hands on him and strong enough to hold on until Luke comes backside to clean up. It's a team effort. And this is Panthers football where you see those two linebackers fast flowing to the ball. That reminds me of Thomas Davis and Luke Keekley 101 to me. So this is an opportunity we're going to get to see Shaq in the pass rush scenario because we know Thomas Davis, when we let go of him, he's one of our most designated blockers because Luke is not really a great pass rusher. Uh, I don't know why exactly, but he just never really developed that skill. He's better in pass coverage anyway, in my opinion. But anyway, Shaq Thompson, he has become the new designated blitzer at that linebacker position, and he shows off some of his skills here. He's going to uh, do a little twist and line up on this gu uh, guard and get a chance to make a beautiful one-on-one -on -one move. And this is one of my favorite moves by Shaq because he really just dominates this guy with the pass rush. He sets him up with another move and gives him the counter. As you can see that stunt starting to happen. Gerald McCoy is going to cross inside, and once that happens, this guard is going to be off balance just enough for Shaq to come out there because look once Shaq gets on him he attacks half the man the guy pretty much seems to have him stonewall but Shaq doesn't give up he's already set him up that's his initial move watch Shaq come back with a counter move just really throw that guy to the side and get there make a play on Deshaun Watson which was a huge sack and one of my favorite plays just watch how Shaq really suns this dude right here look at that gets hands on him watch look at that hand right here Look at the hand on the outside. He's about to get rid of him. He took on half the man, and he's uses his hands to be violent, throw that guy out the way, and go make a play at the quarterback. The quarterback really didn't even know what to do just because it happened so fast. And like I said, it, it, it was it was a nice play. I know he bragged about that in film. I heard him bragging about it on the sideline with Brian Burns. So multiple in their ability to blitz. Yeah, I beat the guard. Oh, you beat him? Oh, oh I, I thought I opened wait, it up. Wait till you see it. I got to see wait it. Wait till you see it. You killed his ass. Boy, use the hands, boy. So let's look at a play where Shaq can really show off how he can run. And you know what I'm saying? This is one of the reason why I think he got re-signed because I think this team was looking to try to add a little bit more speed and keep speed on our team. That way we have a fast flow on defense. Shaq is right here, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much in uh uh, we got the box pretty much stacked up. We know it's pretty much a run formation they've been running, and uh, they're going to do a run to the right, and Shaq is going to pretty much just get to the ball pretty fast and refuse to be blocked. Like, this is just a great job by him. As you can see, he already recognizes the run. He sees it open up. He takes off. This guard tries to reach him or tackle tries to reach him, but Shaq is just too fast for him. You know what I'm saying? One of the best ways to avoid blocks is to just outrun it. He sifts through the trash. Got another guy gets a piece of him, but he still gets there, makes the play, holds him to a three yard uh, game by being the backside linebacker. You know what I'm saying? So let's look at a tight view, and you can see it from Shaq's point of view. He automatically notices that his run because of the formation one and two. He sees that first step, so he takes that first step. He knows they're going outside zone because they like to do it. He gets through the trash, makes a play, nice play on Adrian Peterson, three yard game by Shaq. Here's the same game, another quick example. Shaq's right here on the inside, you know what I'm saying? But they're going to go outside zone again to the right, and this is what they do. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me, inside. So here's another So here's another example where Shaq shows how fast he can get to the ball sometimes and make things happen, you know what I'm saying? Since he's been in this role, he's starting to be a little bit better of a tackler. I know sometimes he, got, he gets in trouble for arm tackling, but sometimes once he gets there, he makes his presence felt and make those plays happen. So on this play, he's going to come backside away from the run. It's going to be an inside zone by the Redskins. And watch how that late shift and Shaq just anticipating run really allows him to get to that ball quick before Adrian Peterson even gets a chance to get going. And as you can see, he's already shifted up. This is a run blitz. So you can see Brian Burns shortens that edge for Shaq because had Brian Burns just came straight up field, Shaq might have had a longer route to go. But since Brian is continuing to go down Shaq can turn that corner use that speed that he has to get around there and look Adrian Peterson tries to jump cut but he's not fast enough to get away from Shaq Thompson man he even lets him have it once he gets to there so by no means is Shaq Thompson a perfect player. Like I said, his strengths is his speed and his ability to hard, hit hard when he gets there. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't really like taking on big blocks like that. And no linebacker really does like that. But on this play, let's see how he struggles at the point of attack sometimes because obviously he's a little bit undersized because, like I said, he had to gain a little bit of weight coming to this thing. But watch him at the point of attack. This is not really his strength. Like I said, his strength is getting to the ball. On this play, the Redskins going to run a zone run to this side. But everybody's pretty much in their gap on this side. But... The thing about it, Adrian Peterson has great vision, and if you make a mistake, he'll find that cutback lane. That's what happened here. This center right here is going to get hands on Shaq and pretty much have leverage and have Shaq walled off, and it's going to create a huge hole for Adrian Peterson to get through. And this was a big-time run because it was pretty back-breaking. We had him backed up. We were down one point. We needed to get the ball back, 
And as you can see, Adrian Peterson pretty much exploded um, through that hole and made something play. I mean, Adrian Peterson's a good back, but like I said, Shaq, I'll stop it for a little bit. And you can see he'll kind of get hands-on laid on him, and he'll get pushed out of that hole. So automatically, boom, the center's attacking half the man. And you can see it kind of developing now. A little bit there, and you already see the hole there. But watch how big this hole gets once Shaq gets completely walled off. And look at it. You can't even see Adrian Peterson right here. But as you can see, the back, this side right here, we have it pretty much covered up. But this backside hole really kills it. And like I said, the next person that he's going to even see is Bradbury, who is 20 yards deep. And there he goes. He's off to the races, man, and that kind of hurts, like I said, because that changes field position. Instead of having them backed up and them putting out their end zone, it was possibly getting the ball at the 50. Now they got a long drive. They're getting going up, and we're getting gashed in the run game again. As you can see, Shaq has really showed the potential that he could actually be a top-flight linebacker in this league now that he's finally got some playing time. And with the speed and the ability to hit that he has, this seems like a recipe for what the Panthers are trying to do going forward. We know that last year we purged a lot of the old players like uh, Thomas Davis and Julius Peppers, who they thought had lost a step and tried to get faster by bringing in guys like Brian Burns. So if they're trying to get more speed on the field, Shaq is definitely a guy you want part of your long-term plan. And with most of the guys that he's dra been drafted with in this draft class, it feels good to actually re-sign one of our draft picks from this class because he's the only draft pick that we had in this class that actually got a long-term deal. Um, Devin Funches got cut. Karen Artis Payne got, uh, Kurt, uh, got uh, cut. David Mayo, um, he's pretty much as a special teams player. And Darrell Williams, he got a second contract, but it was only one year. So it feels good to actually have a draft pick that we feel good about that's going to be here for the long-term future. And I really do like Shaq. And I think he's a pretty good player. He plays hard. And um, uh, he, he has his up and downs, but I think with more experience, he's just going to get better and better. But like I said, you guys let me know down in the comments what you think about Shaq. Do you think it was a good deal for us to go ahead and get him now? Because I think in the offseason, the, the linebacker uh, salary is going to be even higher. So it may be a little bit more competitive from that point. So I think it might have been smart to go ahead and get it done now. You know what I'm saying? But let me also know what you think about this type of film that I'm doing, man, this type of video. This, like I said, this is a different video. I don't really do film breakdowns, but I think I want to start doing a little bit more now just so flex my football knowledge muscles a little bit because I have a football background playing a couple years and playing something in college too. So I like doing these type of videos. So let me know if you guys like them, and I'll do a couple more if you want me to. So uh, without further ado, I'm Aaron Ducker signing off. I'll see you next time.